And 7 News following developments in the shooting death of the man seen in this Cincinnati police video. Samuel Dubose was pulled over last week during a traffic stop. Dubose and an officer, Ray Tenzing, talk calmly for about two minutes, but then a five second scuffle ends with Dubose dead. Well, today, Officer Tenzing was fired and charged with Dubose's death. And seeing what happened between Dubose and the officer in the video, we started asking, what are your rights? Tonight's 7 News reporter Marshall Zellinger is looking into what you can and can't do when you see flashing lights behind you. Marshall? I mean, and if you're like me, and trust me, this hasn't happened to me for more than a decade, but when you see the red and blue lights in your rear view mirror, your heart starts to race just a little bit. And then when that officer comes walking by, you still see the red and blue lights flashing in the side view mirror. The officer comes up, then you want to know what are your rights. So we checked it out. And officers, first, they prefer that if your hands are visible, maybe on the steering wheel, just so that they know you're not reaching for anything. Over here in a traffic stop, when can you be asked to get out of your car and have your car searched? Well, in one case, obviously, if officers have a warrant. Secondly, if they, uh, well, I'm going to skip down to the third one because plain view is actually very interesting to me. Plain view, clearly, if you have something in your vehicle that is plain viewed by the officer that suggests that there's being, uh, crime is being committed. We found out that if you have a group in your car, passengers, when do they have to get out of the car? You have to get out if the officer says so, at least here in Colorado. Passengers don't have to get out unless the officer suspects there is a crime being committed, like it's a stolen vehicle. But if it's a basic traffic stop, as a passenger, you have a right to remain in your car. We're posting some of the information we've learned from police about traffic stops on the DenverChannel.com and on the 7 News app. Check it out right now. Reporting live, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News.